I believe in life. If we want to see progress, we should focus on our strength and outsource anything that we can outsource, not to waste time. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, my strength is vision and product creation. Like I'm hyper aware of like global trends. I always have been. And I'm also hyper aware of what I want. And I always think if I want something and I want it badly, there's at least a million people like me in this world. I mean, we're like, what now? More than 8 billion people. So what's 1 million? That's like tiny little percent. So then I set out to create that that I want. For example, the affirmation cards that we have now, there's different categories. There's Mm -hmm. self-love, mindfulness affirmations. There's affirmation for kids. Those were all products that were created you know, with my vision in mind. And um, those are all my favorite affirmations that I've been using Mm -hmm. for years. So it's been truly incredible to share the tools that I've been using on my personal journey of healing and self-growth and be able again to put my absolute favorites. Because obviously when you go through a a journey of self-growth, you go through so many different books and techniques and some stick and some don't. And for me, for example, gratitude and affirmations, it's... Yeah, game changer. Game changer. It's profound. Mm-hmm. It's so powerful. And it's always funny to me how like people would still challenge these concepts, especially affirmations, because people say, oh, that doesn't work. And it's like, well, actually, anything you tell yourself, you're affirming to yourself, mm-hmm. whether you realize it or not. Like you could say, oh, why am I so stupid? Why does this always happen to me? Why I never attract people? Or you can change that story and say all these positive things. It takes the same amount of energy to tell a story. Why would you say a negative story? So that's all affirmations are. And I think what we do at Intelligent Change is we just allow to share examples of affirmations that helped us to get to the success that we are experiencing. Of course, people can create their own that are more authentic to them, but I think most people don't even know where to start, especially if you're in a dark place. You're just used to that negative inner dialogue that is toxic and is not getting you out of that vicious cycle because the inner dialogue is is that conditioning that a lot of us receive from the age of zero to seven. And it's oftentimes how our parents or caregivers or teachers or whoever was around us how they were talking to us and the belief system, their belief system, their values, their judgments, it's all out there in the subconscious mind. And we're not oftentimes not even aware it's there. And yet it controls 95% or even more of all our decision-making. That's how powerful it is. And how we can retrain that, again, with tools like 5-Minute Journal or just using gratitude. Again, you don't need the journal. You can just use any blank notebook and use that practice in a blank notebook, or you could get the affirmations from Intelligent Change, or you can just look up some affirmations uh, on Pinterest or create your own, right? Ultimately, it's about creating better habits that are better for your mental and emotional yeah. health. What is your vision and goal for the future of Intelligent Change? I, f- I feel like there's so much potential. Tell us about yeah. that. Well, you want to hear our big audacious goal? Is yeah. That to, <laughs> yeah, it's to, ch- to change one percent of the global population and help them change their life for the better and if you think about it one percent is not a lot of people but also also it's like more than 100 million people and why one percent because there have been so many studies done this one was done in the 70s in i think somewhere in new york or the bronx or somewhere else at the time there was a lot of violence and there was you know, just like a lot of aggression in the community. And what they did is they they did the study where they got 1% of the population of that neighborhood to practice, I believe it was TM meditation, so transcendental meditation. Mm -hmm. And then they measured how that had an impact on the overall community. And I don't remember the exact numbers, but the violence went down like something like 30, 40%, just because this 1% of the population was practicing mindful meditation. And to me, this is just a proof that as long as we're doing the inner work, we don't need to go out there and change the world. Oftentimes it's, it's a distraction. 
And right now, especially with what's happening in the world, it's very chaotic at the moment. Yep. I don't know what's happening with the stars, the Saturn return or what's going there's on. There's a lot. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot happening yeah. out there because we can all feel it. But a lot of time, people are wasting their energy, projecting out and blaming, accusing, mm -hmm. judging, when in fact, if all of us go inside and create a more peaceful inside, that is going to have a much better effect on raising our vibrations globally and creating a more peaceful world. So that is what I'm focusing on personally. And that's what we, you know, encourage with, with intelligent change. So what is the bigger vision? We, we believe in building a community, which we already have been doing for the last 10 years. But now we want to do it in a way where we'll, we'll also have, you know, we, we're already doing events. Um, our first event was last year. We did an intelligent su change summit in um, Ibiza at Six Senses. So we did a whole buyout. And it was a more of an Inc like exclusive event because it was our first one, but our bigger vision is to do bigger events that are more inclusive and are in bigger cities so more people can attend and also doing small workshops and having retail spaces with experiences so we can actually connect people physically in the real world. Because I think a lot of us are spending so much time in front of the computers and I think it's great because you know, you and I are able to do what we do because of the screens, because of the social media. And there's so much benefit in that. But at the end of the day, when you meet people in person, when you build that real human connection, nothing compares. And it's merging the two of those. I think that's what we want to do and continue, of course, creating simple tools that can help people on their journey of self-actualization. Because in a nutshell, that's what we do is we just help people self-actualize so they can define their values, their vision, and, and focus all their energy on that and live life more intentionally. 